And welcome back, folks. Hope you're well. We hope you're enjoying the program thus far. And I know it's going to get even better for you because we're about to, you know, enter into a, a zone that, that's going to have all Grenadians screaming, "Yay!" Uh, I have in studio with me right now uh, our hopeful for the Olympics to represent us in the sport of figure skating. A lot of people are probably like. What? Figure skating? Grenada? How does it all come together? Well, in a few minutes, you'll find out. Her name is Olaya Clarkson. Olaya? Oh, yeah. Olaya. <laughs> Olaya Clarkson. And she's joined by her dad, Mr. Earl Clarkson. Special good morning and good welcome, morning. welcome, you. welcome, Thanks welcome, sir. Thank you for having such a brilliant offspring. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> Mr. Clarkson, I want to start chatting with you first. Um, I, I'm intrigued to find out a little bit more about your roots in Grenada. So I, I was born in St. Paul's. Mm -hmm. I attended GBSS until 1970. Then I emigrated to the U.S. Wow. Any relation to Mr. Jaden Clarkson? Yeah, he's my cousin. Oh, he's your cousin. Yeah, Lorette Clarkson is my aunt. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. It's a small family. Everybody's related. I know. <laughs> and everybody should know everybody. That's that's the beauty about Grenada and all yeah, of yeah. that. Well, so welcome again and welcome to you, uh, yeah. Olia. And Olia, um, First off, I know you have quite an interesting mix with your dad being Grenadian and your mom is from uh, Russia. Yeah. And you're into figure skating how long? Since you've been? Six, seven. Six, seven Around years that old. Age, yeah. Why did you want to get into this field of <laughs> sport? Actually, um, my mom used to figure skate and she, she thought it was so hard and she never wanted any, anyone she knows to get into it. So one day she just dropped me off. To, on the ice and goes, we could just try it. And I fell in love with it and I, I've been on it ever the since. The rest is history. Yeah. You have quite an excellent portfolio. And I, <laughs> Thank I, you. My goodness. I mean, you're a little lady. You've been quite busy because yeah. you've done ice skating, you've done modeling, you've done television, all of that. Um, tell me a little bit about, in terms of figure skating, why did you want to represent or why do you want to represent Grenada? First of all, I think it's it's amazing for the country because this fall in the past year I've been to many international events and every time I go they're like oh my god where's Grenada what is Grenada <laughs> where, where is it and I think it just makes Grenada more known to the world which I think it, it deserves to be more known to the world and plus it would be the first time in history for Grenada to be in the Winter Olympics or in a winter surface and I remember I was in Turkey. And I got third place, and one of the judges came up to me and said, um, congratulations on your first medal for Grenada. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, Dad, how do you feel about all of this that's going on? And, I mean, clearly, I'm not sure who's, who suggested it, that she should represent Grenada in this, and I'm sure it could have been you and her mom. How, how, how do you feel about all of this that's happening right now? Well, you know, even before we came to the... Well, to the acknowledgement that she should skate for Grenada, we were here on a family reunion, and I was talking to James, my cousin, and he's like, yeah, maybe she'd represent Grenada. I'm like, we hadn't even thought that far. Yeah. So then while we were here, we started looking into it. We went back to New York. We did some stuff. Then we came back last year. We met with the Olympic Committee. We became a member of the Olympic Committee. Then we proceeded to do the paperwork, and then we became a member of the ISU. So we're the only nation in the Caribbean that's a member of the International Skating Union. Fantastic. Um, I think there are two other places, I think Puerto Rico and maybe Argentina and Brazil. Yeah. But in the Caribbean itself, we're the only country. Wonderful. So, so once, we, once we were able to get that accomplishment, yeah. we felt we had to, it, we basically we couldn't turn back at that time. Yeah. We just had to keep going and, and, and going yeah. and going. So, so basically our outlook is Oli may be the first, but we know that there are probably other Oliers out there and oh, we want yes. to get them in. Yeah. And, um, you know. What is your plan? Because now you're here. I'm assuming you're here on business and a little pleasure mixed together. But I know one of your key goals is to, you know, just get people more knowledgeable about figure skating in Grenada. So is, is that part of your plan in this I trip? It would be it's an, it would be an amazing goal for everyone here to know what figure skating is, yeah. and I feel like well, figure skating is such a big part of me, and so is Grenada. So if they could combine with each other, it's oh just yeah, it'd be wonderful. It's wonderful. Oh, I remember looking at the Olympics when I was younger, man. Listen, 
how hard is it to do a triple, what do you call it? A uh, triple axel? Triple, triple, there's the there's, triple jump? there's yeah. five different jumps. So triple loop, triple tug, triple axel, triple lats, triple flip, triple sal. How tough was it for you to get your, to nail your first one? <laughs> it was tough. It was, I was like, woo <laughs> <laughs> High fives and yeah. stuff when you got it, eh? And then you lose it and then you're like, no. Yes, <laughs> but yes. then it gets back to you. It just yeah. takes time. Really and truly, I mean, be honest. Tell me what is the toughest part of figure skating? What is really is the toughest part? I, I feel like there's so many different tough parts. It depends on who you are. Like some people, they get very, very nervous mm -hmm. before they compete and that might be the toughest part for them. I, I actually love competing. It's what, it's what it's my favorite. <laughs> but I think... The toughest part is maybe you get this jump and then maybe you lose it and then going through everything over again the process is very tough yeah. and it's like oh no why is this happening <laughs> but then when you get it it's the, it's the biggest relief yeah i'm sure yeah. all right i want you to talk a little bit about your coach my coach yes Nicolai. mr nikolai <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit about your coach and a typical day of training with him well i actually i go to school in brooklyn and he's mostly located in russia so whenever i have spring break or i have break or before a competition i usually go there for three weeks i was actually there in february yeah. but a typical day with him is wake up <laughs> of course oh, yeah. <laughs> um go to the ring for i have warm-up for like an hour and then I go on the ice for two hours. Then I usually do homework over the internet, eat lunch, maybe take a nap, mm -hmm. go back to the rink, um, do another off ice, skate, and then maybe off ice, and then eat dinner, maybe watch a little bit of TV. A little bit of, <laughs> of course. And then go to bed. <laughs> How many hours would you say you train per day? Per You're day. looking at six hours? Roughly? Well, when I'm in New York, mm -hmm. um, I, tr I wake up at 4.40. And I go to the rink around 6. Mm -hmm. I finish at 7.20. I go to school. I get off school around 2.35. I'm at the ice rink around 3. I finish there around 7. And then, so, in the afternoon, it's like 4 hours in the morning. It's like 2, so that's 6 hours yeah. a day. Plus I was, off, I was um, right. Plus office. I was yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What would you have to do? Now, both of you can answer this for me. What would you have to do in order to qualify to represent Grenada in the Olympics? Well, bas basically, you know, she, she's leaving tomorrow and she's going mm -hmm. back to train because, you know, as she said, once you acquire the jump, especially in the triples, you can't really take that much time off from the yeah. ice. You just have to really keep going at it day in and day out and day out. So basically, she's going to go to full continent. She's going to go to the worlds. She's going to go to some international competition because okay. in the Grand Prix. Because even if you could do it on the ring, where you train, you really have to do it in front of people. So yeah. basically, our goal for this year, before she goes to the juniors and the seniors, is to really go to as many international competitions as yeah. possible. That's right. That's yeah. right. And, and, you know, it keeps you going. It keeps everything fresh. And, and then hopefully, yay, we'll be at it. We'll be at it. We'll be in it. Um, what is one of... For you, what is relaxation time like for you? Would you enjoy doing music or uh, video games? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like hanging out with my friends a lot. That's very important for me. But I like to actually go home after a very long day and just <laughs> sit in my bed and <laughs> listen to music. Good I guess go on the internet. I also, I really like to run really like to run I, I i don't know why to listen to music and just run and just run in the city yeah yeah great and and another interesting fact is you're actually one of how many kids six yeah. wow <laughs> <laughs> where do you fall are you in I'm between the you're the fourth very competitive siblings no we actually have an amazing relationship um actually my three older siblings play hockey oh. so it's a bit of an ice sport yes, family kind yes. of thing and now they're all in college so it's just me and my two younger brothers right. so it's less and less of because they're all gone yeah. but i see them all the time and i i talk to my sister a lot very good yeah very good that's that i know i was just about to say so dad tell me you gotta tell me you gotta be doing some kind of sport what sport are you into, Dad? Well, I, I played soccer through college. I'm not surprised. And, and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been on the ice maybe 
but three or four times. <laughs> but but basically, I lived on the ring because she said the older kids, like Perry's 24 years old. He's yeah. been playing hockey since he was six. So I know every rink on the East Coast and wow. Canada. Wow. And Canada. So, you know, so for 24 years, I've been going to rinks sometimes twice a day, yeah. two, three times on weekends. Fantastic. So it's like I've lived so and I slept. I on know. The ice. Fun. Now, someone who we haven't spoken about, and she is here, but she's probably just she checking it out on the sidelines. Mom, mom, tell me a little bit about your mom, because I know we're probably going to be running out of time. I'm not sure, but tell me a little bit about your mom. How is mom with all of this? Is mom a really, you know, you got training, you got to do this, don't give up? I feel like because <laughs> she's <laughs> Russian, you would think, like, oh, she's really tough. Yeah. Actually, she's much more lean back. Like, I remember when I was little, she says, if you don't love this, there's no point of doing it. Just yes. stop. It's not worth all this. And she actually, like, maybe one day I have a bad day, she's the one I would go to and she picks me back up. Oh. And she comes to the ice sometimes, not that often because she, she works too. But I just, I love to show her, like, oh, I got this now. Yes. I can do this now. And I love to show her all the new yeah. things. So she's always there for me. Yeah, and it's really so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really good that there's no pressure, you know, not that she's done it, that she wants to get you into it yeah. because she's done it. And that's really cool. She wanted the opposition because cool. she did it. She didn't want me to get into it. Yeah, because she knows. She yeah. knows how tough it is. She knows how hard it can be when you, you try so hard and then it doesn't work out and you're heartbroken and tears on the, on the ice and then your tears freeze when they fall on. <laughs> I'm just, I, I have a really funny sense of humor. Um, what are, no, you leave tomorrow. Yeah, you leave morning. tomorrow. You leave in the morning. Tell me a little bit about your favorite spots in Grenada. Do you have any favorite spots in Grenada? I, mm, I like the market. Good. <laughs> I, I, I remember a few years ago we went all the way up into the mountains to that waterfall. It was like, uh, yeah, then, uh, that was breathtaking. Yeah. And of course, I love the beach. She doesn't love of the course, beach. Of course, of yeah. course. And Karaku. You love Karaku. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. So it's great to get away from time to time and, yeah. you know, tell your friends about Grenada and all of that they all want stuff. To come. I'm sure they <laughs> do. I'm sure. Yeah. And you have all your photos and mm -hmm. you're like, this is my second home. Look at <laughs> it. You have to go here <laughs> for this summer. I know. Finally, um, I, with awesome kids like you, I always like to put in a special request and ask if you can just give all kids out there, you know, any sort of advice on just following your dreams and never giving up. My, I have like three main advices. Never give up because you always have that one day that's just horrible and you're like, oh no. I feel right after that, it would always get much better. It's just a bump in the road. Also, everything happens for a reason. True. I feel like Maybe you didn't go here because something might, would have happened. I feel that's one of the most important things to put in your mind because everyone will get upset. Like, I couldn't go out here because blah, blah, blah. And then it happens for a reason. Yeah. And I just enjoy what you do. Just love what you do. Because oh, yeah. if you don't love it, it's just you're suffering through something that you have to love to su be successful in it. Definitely. And I think... Definitely. Yeah. Dad, you must be so proud of this girl. <laughs> oh, I know you are. I can see it in your face. I can see it in your face. But this has been a wonderful pleasure. Um, I am so honored to meet you, and I'm very happy to meet you, sir. I'm going to tell Mr. Clarkson I met his cousin, because I know Mr. Clarkson very well, James. But I want to wish you all the best. Um, yeah. Please keep me posted so I can keep the nation posted on, on what course. Oya is doing in terms of representing our, our, our island and representing her family and her friends and everyone and keep being an inspiration for Thank our youth. You. Thank you so much. Thank it was a so pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And very, very nice to meet you. And to, uh, to your mom, Rina. Rina, thank you so much for uh, connecting with me and making this interview possible. Folks, if you need to find out more about uh, Olia, where can we find out more about you um, on the World Wide Web? My, my basketball. <laughs> 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 You could friend me on Facebook. No, could, like, yeah, yeah, you could find on Facebook our first name, Olia. Yeah. It's O-L-I-Y-A. Of course, we probably had it on the screen a couple minutes ago, Claxon. So, uh, yeah, become friends with her and, and follow her through her journey. Uh, she trains and does all that she has to do in order to qualify to represent the beautiful Spice Isle in the Winter Games. 2014? Yeah. 2014. 
figure skating. Thank you so much. Thank you. So All much the for best. Us. You're welcome. Thank we'll take you. a quick break. You're welcome, Mr. Clarkson. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Thank you.